Hey, Homestead Prepper. I want to show you guys my 100% off-grid, high-pressure, hot shower idea that I came up with. And that's a beer keg. Um, I looked at a bunch of different options out there, but I wanted something that didn't rely on propane and didn't rely on 12 volts. Uh, you know, if you have a lot of propane and, you know, you're sure an EMP is not going to take out your solar panels or your charge controllers or things like that, then, you know, going with some other options is probably better. But, like I said, I wanted something that would be independent of, uh, of all that. And I wanted something portable. I could, you know, move this around different places on my property or take it to a bug out location or take it camping. It's not exactly made for hiking, but uh, it's all about options. And I wanted something that I could heat hot water up, pour that thing in there, put some air pressure to it, and get a hot shower. And guys, I gotta tell you that, uh, you know, some days my muscles are all knotted up and there is nothing that works magic like some hot water under pressure. So uh, this, is, this is what I've got. Um, I uh, have that charged up with an air compressor right now. I haven't uh, made the fitting for the, uh, for the pump and you can see right there, there's the pump I'm going to use. A, and you see the, the other sprayer, that's where I got the idea from, right there. I mean, you can use a stainless steel one. I'd get a new one so you're, you, know, you know it didn't have poison or chemicals in it. But you can use that as a shower, too, and you can pump it up by hand. But I wanted something a little more rugged and heavy-duty. And uh, a foot pump would probably be better than that thing right there, but I've never found a reliable foot pump. Um, I, I've used them and they just break. Now that that thing over there I just showed you, you know, it comes very highly rated, and I've used it to air up my bicycle tires, and it works really good. Well, let's take a look at this puppy right here. And uh, also, um, I want to mention that this could be painted black, and I could put this on top of my shipping container out somewhere, and uh, it's going to make hot water all on its own. As long as I have some way to pressurize it, uh, I'm going to be good to go. So I've got it misting right now. I've got a, a, a gauge that I pulled off of some equipment. I've got an emergency relief. This dumps at 70 PSI. And I've got another way to dump the uh, air pressure if I had to. You can see right there it says maximum air pressure. And I think over here it says, well it's upside down, but y'all can read it, 60 PSI. So I'm probably not going to be going above 40 or 45 PSI. You unscrew this, you pour your hot water in, or you can put cold water in there. And I've got this little shower thing. I've got it kind of jimmied on here, right here. Let's, uh, let's pull it off. But this thing, uh, like I said, works pretty good. And it'll also throw some water down range. So let's see if I can get it to go down range. Let's, let's just turn that off. It's got a little off thing right there. Okay, and let's put it on let's put it on jet. Let's see what it does on that. Alright, here we go. Oh man, that throws some water. Well, not quite 30 feet, but you can see it does uh, have some pressure to it, so and it also has the if you want to do like a more volume of a shower like that, that you know is going to give you more whatever. And I like the little shut off. Now I did come up with I wanted to use that little thing right there. I figured this was going to be better. And you just need it. You just rinse you know your dishes off or you rinse yourself off. But um, I, I didn't have the hose. And this is guys this is just a proof of concept you know if you're going to build one of these yourself I recommend you work at your own risk and you get a mechanical engineer to design it within safety limits for you because uh, I'll tell you right now if you don't know what you're doing and you were to put some water in this thing and then put a rocket stove under that and cap all that up you're going to die or you're going to injure yourself or kill somebody so uh, if you don't have any common sense you know I, I recommend you get one of those commercially available ones and that way you don't uh, you don't blow up or die or maim people. So, but um, this, like I said, guys, this is what I came up with. Uh, I need to make a few more modifications. Something I'm going to do is probably 
uh, put a one of these valves right here but larger up here that way I can just open it up pour the water instead of screwing around with taking that cap off right there that'll be one thing and then like I said I may just figure out how to I'll just put a T right there and I could run that and run this too so that gives me more options okay well uh, I'll probably take this a little further than what you see right here and uh, I guess maybe beautify it and you know maybe see about getting some insulation for it I don't know I don't know what's gonna come but okay guys uh, homestead prepper out okay I've uh, I gotta get cleaned up right now so 